don't care what religion you follow. I don't care what color you are. I don't care how much money you have. None of that matters to me. It's who you are. As an individual person? Yeah, in your soul. Like, right, right. It's your spirit that matters. I, I was reading something yesterday. Uh, if people saw... If people... If I saw your soul rather than your physical being, life would be a lot different. Exactly. Because you can have a you, you know good looking woman, but you could be a complete bitch. You know what I mean? Yeah. Something I've always found to be true is personality will make or break somebody's appearance. Yeah. There is there have been people I thought were drop dead gorgeous, and then they started speaking, and suddenly like I I no, didn't see like, any no, appeal. No. And then there's other people that I didn't necessarily find attractive and then i heard them speak and suddenly i'm just drawn to them so it, it can change you know so change. fellas out there if you if you're single you know, or ladies yeah. <laughs> you know don't always just go by with what you look because you're you're in your 30s i don't know yes, okay I am. I am too so like, <laughs> I, I didn't have time to kind of like yeah like I well was... physical peer i'm for instance when i was dating i never had a type you line up my exes and they don't have much in common. There was not a common denom denominator? No. no. you got to really? make me laugh. That's the biggest common denominator. Um, it's always been who you are with me. Uh, physical appearance is just not really relevant. I want you to take care of yourself. Don't get me right. wrong. Have some good hygiene. But uh, as far as like your features, like that's, that's not what's important. What's important is how you treat yourself, how you treat others, your level of respect. Uh, and the ability to laugh—that's. You know, life is a life is a bit sometimes. Man. It is. You got to be able to laugh because when you're going through it, you know you don't keep a sense of humor. If, if you can't laugh, you won't survive. No. You know, I've been through some, some, really unspeakable things, and you have to find humor in every situation, even when it's hard, because that will allow you to regain your perspective. Uh, humor is huge in my life. Yeah. You know, if you can't laugh, you can't, you can't get through the hardest parts. No, because uh, in the darkest times, if you don't keep uh, some type of uh, humanity, whether if it's humor, love, lust, yes, even you know what I mean, like some of the best, some of the uh, best hookups I ever had was from the pain that I had from something else, and me being uh, empathic, you know, I sense. Yeah. And then I just get drawn to that person, and it's like the next morning you wake up, you look at them, you're like, "What the fuck?" You know? Yeah. But, you know. No, but, I mean, I, as far as other people go, I've learned to trust my gut. If something tells me something's off, yeah, well, or right. if I have this natural like, okay, I, I can't be around them, I I've learned to trust that. I I've, I've learned to stop asking myself questions about why my instincts are telling me to stay away from a person because as soon as I ignore that instinct it comes back and bites me in the ass yeah and i i didn't listen to my inner voice uh their angel or you know devil in me and yeah that's another story for another time you're a mother correct mm -hmm. how many kids do you have i have two boys what are if you don't mind me sharing uh what's their names the evan ages? and seth evan and seth okay yeah. they're very biblical so, um well, I mean, Evan was actually my girl's name because he was originally a girl, and then he grew a penis a few weeks later. Um, Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, I, I, they told me he was a girl, and I was like, okay, I'm going to name her Evan. And then Evan grew a penis, and I was in love with the name. Oh, you're so, talking about in the womb? Yeah, in oh, the womb. Oh, 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 I'm like, uh, huh? In the womb. No, not outside. I was like, I was like wait, whoa. No. Am I missing something? <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, but... It was my girl's name, and I fell in love with it, and I kept having dreams about this baby named Evan. And, you know, funny enough, in the dreams, he looked like he actually looks. Oh, uh, yeah. but Premonition almost. Uh, almost. I, I think when you're, when you're pregnant, you do have this connection with yeah. the baby, and you do know certain things without knowing them. Yeah. Um, you know, with Very my powerful own. thing. Yeah, that it connection is. connection that you it have, because you have something going inside you. Pregnancy dreams are almost prophetic you know before i found out i was pregnant i had a dream that was like i woke up and i'm going i can't be and then sure enough a week and a half later i found out i was pregnant and that happened with both kids 